I'm happy we uh, got to see that one. Yeah. I'm excited when we get to go see Howl. Howl is about to be a very interesting one. You already told Trevor about it, right? I don't want to leave any spoilers, but you told Trevor about it? Yeah, I told Trevor about it. Yeah. He was actually the first to know after me. That's I, talked we, to him, uh, I talked to you last night on the phone yeah. about it. Yeah. I talked to Juan this morning about it. Now I told you about it. And all of you guys are just going to have to wait to find out about it. I'm hoping it's one of our more popular episodes. Definitely, if you see this car talk or our last video, we mentioned it. Check it out. We'll uh, we'll we'll make sure to label it something special, so that way you guys will know which one it is. And it's definitely um, it's very very interesting to say the least. Oh yeah, but most like I said, all the videos we talked about while we were in that cemetery, I'll post links to. Um, in the descriptions below um even the car talk videos if we mention certain cemeteries or something i'm going to start posting links to those videos below as well in the description yeah yeah because that's something that kind of aggravates me with youtubers a lot of times is they'll talk about a video in one of their videos and then you want to watch that video or see it and you're trying to find it trying to find it, it takes you forever to find it yeah where if they just put a freaking link there most definitely. And you know one thing that surprises me about all this? I don't know anyone that's really out on any platform that's doing what we're doing. Like, there's a lot of people that go to haunt buildings or haunted houses or speak about haunted stuff, but I've never seen anyone that goes around all the cemeteries pretty much in their area and around the U.S. Maybe some of the, like, very most talked about haunted ones, but a lot of them just don't get the shine. And I feel like we're some of the only people that actually do it. All right. I kind of agree with that to a point. Um, I have seen people do cemetery videos. Um, not quite to the extent that we do. Which is fine. But we're going to start branching off into some other stuff too. Like some haunted buildings, some abandoned buildings. Um, Down a little bit further south of the state, there was um, the battleground from the War of 1812 when we actually lost Michigan to Canada, which most people don't realize we lost Michigan to Canada in the War of 1812. Well, we lost a lot to Canada during the War of 1812. Yeah. But uh, they pushed all the way down to our capital and set it on fire. So we're going to definitely try getting out to that um, that battle site out there. They have like a little museum there too with some of the uh, uniforms and old guns and stuff. Yeah. Um, a lot of people died there. It just. There's not a lot of anything out there on the property. It's just mostly open field. Um, some statues and flower gardens and that type of stuff, memorial type stuff. Um, no. I just. I think it'd be something cool to do. Yeah, most definitely. Um, we got the carriage ride thing that we're looking at too, the haunted carriage ride. We got a lot of good stuff coming up this season, guys. You're not going to want to miss it. We also got, we're getting a lot better uh, film equipment and everything else as well. We are, slowly but surely. One of the things I want to start doing at the end of our videos, like, whether it's a cemetery, a carriage ride, anything, is just take a few seconds and just go from person to person, get some feedback, you know, what they like about it, what they don't like about it. Oh yeah, that carriage ride one, I'm excited for that. Just because I think that would make just a good little end cap for the video, but it's also good conversation pieces that we can use for like, um, trailers for upcoming stuff or, uh, most memorable moments or whatever shit like that we decide to do. Yeah. I'm completely done. We definitely should um, at some point probably make like a season uh, recap of yeah. season one, all the greatest moments. Well, that's going to be a lot harder to do. Um, just because we didn't start doing it from the beginning. There's 20 videos in season one, guys. 20 of them. Go check them out. 
Yeah, that's actually, you got a lot done. Yeah, that's a huge season. Oh, yeah. The most people do like 8 to 12. Well, let's hope we get a lot done this season. It's a normal season. So. I mean, honestly, the transition period between seasons, we took a break for a little while because Michigan, man, we took it was a pretty relentless off. this year. It was pretty weather. relentless. Um, that's early spring, late fall here. We get really bad weather, a lot of rain. And it's like, there might be a night that we can all get together and meet up to go film. But it's pouring down rain and we just can't go do it. So, um, but we got a fix for that this year. We're definitely going to try getting um, some backlog videos, you know, at least a couple extra cemeteries or a couple abandoned buildings. Um, maybe some recaps, some memorable moments. When we hit those couple months time frame where we can't be out filming a whole lot, we're still going to be able to get videos out and posted at least once a week. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, how, how much were we doing it last time once a week as well? Yeah, about that. We could probably kick it up and About once, sometimes, sometimes twice like a week. Um, I mean, with the car talks, if we could get one video and one car talk every There week, is no real that. plan on how I do it. I try to post at least one video every Sunday. So keep your eyes out on Sundays because that's probably when the videos are going to get dropped. But I have dropped videos on like Monday or Tuesdays or a Wednesday. Yeah, it just um, depends. Especially if we start getting a big backlog. I don't like keeping too big of a backlog. I like to film and get them edited and out. And I really don't edit our videos if you watch them. I do a little bit at the beginning, a little bit at the end. But once we get into the thick of it. Yeah, yeah. once we get going, I usually don't cut or edit a video from that point forward. If there is a cut there, it's because the camera battery died or something happened. Yeah. We definitely, um, we should probably should make, well... If we do an edit of the highlights, that should be pretty good. There's a there's some stuff I want to work on with it. I just need to get some of the software and put some more time in. I need to stop messing around so much. Maybe I can do it on Sundays, too. But, um, what you doing back there, Trevor? Drinking Gatorade. Yeah, Trevor's chowing down on my freaking Gatorade. Doesn't even pay me a dollar, no. a dime. Here's something. I do everything for him. I pay his rent. Here's something I'd really. Uh, he took my bubble wrap up. I had to take his mom out to dinner once because she was starving and he couldn't provide for her. All right, but no, no. Here's a real serious question, though, real quick, before we start getting real stupid. Can we make your house haunted, Trevor? <laughs> Trevor, look at him. Like right now. <laughs> Dude, you already sold the house. You guys are moving in a couple weeks. Uh, yeah. Like, let's, like, the night that you guys move out, yeah. you're actually officially in your first place. Like, May 6th, if we out by the 7th, we'll have most of all the furniture Do a video in the house throughout that night, play a Ouija board, maybe do a seance or something. Just do crap that we normally wouldn't do at one of our own houses. Have to get all the stuff out. Yeah. yeah we should have it. Once your house is empty and there's, like, nothing else in there. Would you be cool with that? Yeah, I'm cool with that. Because I know you won't play a Ouija board in a cemetery. I'm not against Ouija boards in cemeteries. Uh, I just don't feel like playing it in a cemetery. Alright, so y'all can keep an eye out for that video too. Because we're going to make Trevor's house haunted as all hell. You guys don't.